Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to my channel. Well, we've got two here. We've got learning experience. So every experience we have is designed for our soul growth and we've got self-acceptance. So this is loving yourself, showing respect for yourself, the way the universe loves you and the way spirit loves you. So we'll see what this is about. It's also about believing that you deserve the best as well. So don't be hard on yourself here. Wait. There's a wait. Now the sword here is communication. You can see the sword of communication that's about more clarity coming forward here. Yeah, get more information, you see. It's about gaining clarity here. There's more information coming forward that's going to help you go forward. you just got to wait a bit for it coming in. It help you move forward, rather. Now, self-acceptance can also be about accepting where we are at this moment in time and accept that we're going through what we're going through because we're, we're, it's about your learning. You're going through a learning experience here. All designed for your soul growth. So we'll see what this is about. Gemini. Uh, the Lover's Card, the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, another sword energy here, the Nine of Cups, the overall energy is the Five of Swords, Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Now, the overall energy we have here is this five. Now, this five of swords is fives of change for me. This is about weighing things up here. Now, this could be in any area of your life. This could be in your work life, your finances, your relationships, your home life, your environments. Now, you're going to have to weigh things up. But what Spirit's saying is before you do this, gather more information. Uh, because what's going to happen here, you're going to have to possibly make a choice. Now, this is about coming out on top. You might have to weigh things up and how you want to go forward. But there's going to be a feeling of loss. This is like a bittersweet victory. Now, the lover's card can be choices that need to be made as well. It's a Gemini card and it's old idea of choices. So it's accepting where you're at, like I said, understanding that everything you go through is for the learning experience and for soul growth. But you might have to make decisions here and how you want to go forward towards what it is that you want. To create for yourself here. So if there's something you're passionate about or you want to have or you want to bring in any kind of wish fulfillment and contentment into your life, it might be that you're going to have to make this choice. Now there's a five and there's a six. Making this choice will move you forward. You'll start to even see the information will start to come in and you'll start to move from choppy waters into calmer waters. Now there's going to, it's like winning the battle but not the war. So there's going to be feeling a loss. When you move on here, you're going to feel as if you've left something behind. But it's what you're going to have to do here to move, to go down a path where you can grow and flourish in your own right here. So please don't be rash with this. Think about things. Decide, weigh things up about how you want to go forward and make that choice to go towards what it is you want to create for yourself. Now, you, when you're doing this, this could actually, when we're doing what we were happy with, we're going towards what we want to create here and making the sacrifices we need to make. No matter which path we go down, we will be successful. So that's what Spirit's saying here. If you're going towards what it is that you want for yourself here, then you're going to, you're making good choices for yourself. Then you're going to flourish and you're going to grow. Definitely. That You can only go towards, there's going to be a lot of contentment and happiness is going to come from weighing this situation up and taking this bittersweet victory as they say here. Now to do this, the information that comes in, you might have to, it will help you with your clarity. It's about gaining clarity here about how you're going to go forward. Now the Queen of Swords energy here is somebody who is coming from an intellectual place. She knows exactly where she wants to go. She's weighed everything up and she's decided what she needs to do to be for her own happiness and her own growth here. And she's cutting out people in situations that no longer serve her. So she's a no-nonsense energy. So, for example, if you're making decisions about your 
job. It might not be fulfilling anymore. You might want to learn something new here. Then you're going to have to walk away from your, the company that you're in, the company you work for, your, your job. It could be that uh, it could be within a relationship as well, weighing up your your environment at home. You might have to make a bittersweet choice over how you want to go towards your stability. Now, she cuts, like I say, people situations out. She doesn't take people. She doesn't take any prisoners. This could also be you communicating how you want to go forward as well. And sometimes she can sound very cold, but she's not cold. She's just coming from an intellectual place. So it might be that you need to announce the path you want to take here. Um, and, you know, you might sound a wee bit. You're going to have to be very straight to the point is what I'm saying. Now, it's going to move you forward. Now, this could be, it's very slow, this. And the reason it's very slow is because Spirit is wanting you to make sure that you've got all the information you need before you move forward here towards what it is you want to go, the path you want to go down. So it's slow because you're weighing things up, you're dotting your I's, you're stroking your T's, you're making sure that it's solid, it's a solid opportunity you're, you're going towards. You're laying the foundations. Now this could also be somebody bringing an opportunity to you within your work life, your finances, your relationships, your environments. Now there could as well be a new chance of a relationship coming forward. So we're cutting our losses in the sense we're leaving single life behind. There's certain things we might enjoy about single life that we're having to leave behind to go towards a relationship. And I'm giving, that's an example of what I'm talking about, where there's a bittersweet victory in that sense. So, but it's going to bring you a lot of contentment and happiness in the future. So it might be going down a road for passionate relationship. It might be the case. Now, if it's a person, this could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy uh, you could be dealing with, but it doesn't have to be. But somebody coming forward with an opportunity for you that's going to bring you greater stability in a certain area of your life. So you, if there's an opportunity coming forward, you want to get as much information as possible. You want to make your choices, although you might be leaving certain things behind. You might be going to live in another town to take up another job. You might be moving to another team within your company, but it's going to bring growth and stability. You could end up with uh, a wage rise or a promotion of some sort. Anything that's going to bring greater stability to your life in that sense. So you're going to have to weigh things up before you make this decision. But it's definitely going to bring you stability, greater stability and greater happiness and contentment in your life here. So I will give you a fairy answer card. Oops, there's far too many. I'm not going to take all them. Here we are, manifestations. Manifestation. So it might be about goal setting here. What do you want to achieve? Cut your losses and go towards what it is that you want. It's going to bring you stability and what it is you're passionate about here. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Write it down on paper, manifestation step one. So be sure about which path you're going to go down here. It's time to make the change. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.